Hello and welcome to our demo session, Seco Smart Position Indicators for Verified Changeovers. My name is Stefan Preck, I'm the General Sales Manager with Seco. Probably most of you knew Seco already for decades. For all the others, I would like to give you a short introduction. Seco is family owned and was founded in 1963 in Germany. We are a manufacturer of measuring systems with almost six years of experience in the industry. Moritz, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hello Stefan, hello to the audience. I'm Moritz Müller, Product Manager for Changeover Solutions and especially for Position Indicators. And uh, now uh, we would like to give you a quick impression how Seco looks like. We will be back with our live demo after a short teaser. Okay, Moritz, what do we have to expect from this demo session? Well, Stefan, um, you will get to know our AP series bus compatible indicators uh, for fast and process safe changeover of production machines. You will see application examples and we will talk about the possibilities for machine builders, including latest interface technology and the benefits for end users. Okay. Um, that sounds interesting. What do you mean with changeovers? Uh, we help making production machines flexible for various formats, not only one fixed format. As an example, in packaging machines we all know that it's most relevant because we normally have frequent changes for a variety of formats or package sizes and the machines have normally many changeover points. Okay. And so from your experience, uh, what is most relevant for a smooth and efficient changeover? And also, what does SQL offer for that? Well, Stefan, let me answer this with some slides in the following. Well, you will get a quick overview of our solutions and the benefits here. The most common equipment for such changeover points is our manual position indicators. Those can be analog dials or digital counters mechanical or electronic version. Installation is very easy with the hollow shaft and it is an inexpensive solution. The machine setup, it can be for example height or side guides as you see here, becomes repeatable and precise. However, the quality of the machine output and machine availability is up to operating personnel because they have to know the correct numbers. When you want to stick to manual adjustments but need to make changeovers safer and faster, our solution is the AP series bus compatible indicators. Through modern communication interfaces, you can send a target position to each adjustment point and read out the actual position to the machine control unit. The integration into the machine is similar to our mechanical indicators, very compact and easy, with hollow shafts up to a diameter of one inch. So what are the main benefits of these AP series indicators? At first, you achieve a safe process because all settings are verified by the PLC and only if the setup of the whole machine is correct, it will start production. So no trial operation is needed and you don't have to search for failures or wrong settings. Even though it is still a manual changeover, it becomes very fast and simple. Operators get guided by the LEDs. With these LEDs, it is clear which axes remain green and don't need any attention and which axes turn red and need to be adjusted. So availability of the machine is high, no matter what shift or personnel is on the machine. 
At last, the quality of the machine output is optimized. There is no waste on trial operation and settings can be optimized and will be precisely repeated every time. Finally, if you want to speed up the machine setup even more, or some access are in places an operator cannot access, Seco offers actuators for fully automatic changeover. Thanks to the built-in encoder, those are fully integrated positioning drives with a very compact design. All of them feature a hollow shaft, so they can be installed in a similar way like our position indicators. Our range of smart positioning actuators offers various power classes and communication interfaces, including Ethernet IP and I.O. Link. Okay, Moritz, thank you for the presentation. Um, so how does such an AP series indicator look like and how does it work? Well, Stefan, first of all, it's very easy to integrate it into an existing machine design because the smart indicators are mounting compatible to the mechanical ones. Here you see a very common four-digit mechanical counter. And if you compare this to the corresponding model, the AP05 bus compatible electronic position indicator, you see that the mounting uh, dimensions are the same. Speaking about the torque support pin and the hollow shaft dimensions, you see it's mounting compatible. You can install it in the same place. Let's have a closer look at the working sample of this AP05. Uh, it's this device here. And here, let's have a closer look at the bright LCD display. It's uh, with backlight. And uh, in the two lines, you have the actual position value in the first and the target value in the second. So the first line changes with the actual spindle position and you have an LED showing the position status in red or green. This has the great advantage that the operator can see at first glance which of the possibly a few settings in the machine have to be adjusted at all. All the positions showing green can be, can be left untouched. Green is shown only if actual value and target are the same including a target window which is programmable. Here in this example it is 0.5 millimeters. Also we have a user guidance with those two LEDs. If the spindle is not in position yet, the red LED clearly indicates the direction to target left or right. So the operator can easily find the target position intuitively. On the other side you have another working sample, a different type of indicator. Here an external magnetic sensor is connected to the display, so linear changeover points or sliders can be handled the same way like spindle adjustments and can be integrated into the verified or monitored changeover. Thank you, Moritz, for the demonstration. This looks really nice on the table here, but um, how does it look in the application? Well, Stefan, uh, I will give you a, a concrete application example in the next slide. Here you see a common end-of-line packaging application, a label applicator. When the machine has to be set up for a new box size, the actuator on top and the smart indicators at the front receive new target positions from the machine control, so the LED turns red. Only when the operator has turned all manual adjustment points to target, they will show green lights and the machine control gets feedback about this positioning status. Once the PLC has verified all positions are correct, it will continue production.
So what are the details when I would like to select the right AP for my application? Manual changeover points are mostly moved with a hand wheel and a spindle. However, when you have adjustment points with linear sliders, for example, side guides, you can use our indicators with an external magnetic sensor and precisely measure those settings and integrate them into the verified changeover solution. At last, there can be format parts or tools which need to be changed during machine setup. To give the operator the necessary information what part is needed, you can install our bus compatible set point display directly at the changeover point. Operators can confirm tool changes via push button. For those applications, we offer a range of products with different shaft and display sizes to fit into your space requirements. Talking about the communication interfaces, you find the latest technology here. I would like to draw your attention to our Ethernet IP interface in the AP20 series. We provide you with add-on instructions for Rockwell Automation or Allen Bradley engineering platforms to guarantee for a quick and easy programming and commissioning. As the AB20 features two Ethernet ports, you can connect multiple indicators, for example, to a ring topology for maximum availability. Speaking about real-time Ethernet interfaces, we also offer other common interfaces integrated into the AP20 series. Contrast, the IO link interface is not a field bus, but a point-to-point -point connection. This has the great advantage that the main Ethernet network only needs to be connected to one central IO link master in each machine module. And from there, it is a star-shaped IO link connection. Every IO link device, like for example our AP10 indicator, is connected to an individual port on the IO link master. That means identification of the IO link device and configuration runs automatically, also in case an IO link device has to be exchanged later for a spare part of the same type. That shortens time for commissioning and troubleshooting, resulting in cost savings. The IODD, IO-Link device description, provides the complete set of device parameters and can be imported to the engineering platform of the PLC so that initial setup of the devices is easy without programming tasks. Okay, Moritz, uh, I think the audience is probably interested in some common questions. Um, one of the common questions we hear often is, um, do I have to reference the position again after a power cycle? No, Stefan, because uh, basically speaking, the AP series position indicator is a gearless absolute multi-turn encoder. So it only has to be referenced once while commissioning the machine. And uh, later, there's no reference needed anymore. Okay. Another common question is, uh, how do I set the correct spindle pitch? Well, uh, you have uh, parameters for that, which are freely programmable via the interface or on the, uh, on the keys of the device. So you can uh, program the counts per turn and the decimal place so that the uh, indicator shows the spindle pitch you need for your application. Okay. So um, the IO link interface is more and more asked uh, for the AP series. Um, the other common question is, uh, do I need, uh, or what kind of equipment do I need uh, to connect it to a PLC? Yeah, for the AP10 with IO link interface, uh, you need an IO link master port class A, which is the limited power supply port. So this one is enough, the class A port. And to link this IO link master to the PLC, you can use the main network, the main Ethernet network of the machine, for example, Ethernet IP. Okay. So we came to the end. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And if you have any further questions or want to have more details, please contact our experts. Thank you and have a nice day. Thanks.